Hey guys, what's happening? So, this just showed up in the mail, and it's a dual camera, 180 degree uh, camera. So I wanted to put this in the front of my house to be able to cover my uh, truck and my Bronco, um, and make some adjustments. I'm actually currently running like a Zosi IP camera, but the uh, I'm not getting a good angle of my cars. So, um, got this on eBay, 65 bucks, so about half price, and... Uh, What's cool about this camera is it's supposed to have light sensors too, and I should be able to actually talk to it. Um, so one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted this to work with the Blue Iris. So, um, you know, I guess you can actually also do like a mini SD card here, a micro SD, but that's kind of a headache, you know, having to go in there and play back directly from the camera. So it is missing the actual clip on it, the where it clips on the wire, like the weatherproof thing. But I should have one for the other camera. Um... Actually, I'd like to take this apart and see what this thing is made of. So maybe I'll do that. I think there's a couple screws. I want to see what's actually inside the camera, like what kind of what chipset's in there, and if I can hook up a UART to it if I have to. So uh, actually, right now I don't even know if it works. I should probably plug it in, find out. So let me plug in. I'll see if I can get into the GUI. And then once I know it actually works, then I'll open it up. But yeah, take a look at that. If you're not familiar with this camera. Yeah, so it's 180 degrees, and it kind of like stitches the two frames together, but I'll show you that if I get it working. So before I even actually decided to log into this thing, I just took the cover off here, and there's a little reset button. I'm going to hold down the reset. Hold it down for like 20 seconds, and then see if I can log in. I'm going to log in my... Oh, let's get the shit out of me. Yeah, this thing has a speaker, so... <laughs> My other cameras don't have that, where I can't talk to people, you know? Like, what are you doing out there, man? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to move the stand over. So I need to actually mount the opposite direction. It's going to hang from my roof eave. But also, I can't help myself. I want to see what's inside of this camera. Hopefully it's just one screw. You can see what Screw. I mean, it pops off. I don't want to break it. Well, I guess it's not that important. I guess I can look online and see what chipset it is, but I'm probably not going to have to mess with the firmware. So, um, just because it's such a highly specialized camera with the two lenses, it would be really difficult to make a custom firmware on this thing. I tried. Let's put that back on. So I'm going to flip the mount around. So you need to get the orientation correct or it's going to be upside down. The cool thing is there's mounts on both sides for this thing right here. So, um, I guess you just take this off. And you can just mount this uh, thing right here. Uh, this part right here. I don't know if it's even the right screw. It doesn't make this is even the right screw for this. Um, looks like a M5. So I'm gonna look at it, see if I have a shorter M5. Because this doesn't look like it would go. I guess it's the factory screw. Because most likely, if it's an outdoor device, it would actually have uh, stainless. Because this thing will rust in two seconds. Um, especially down here, I live at the beach, so I'm getting all the ocean air. So this you just mount on the thing. And you can just flip the camera like that. So this is like upside down like that. Just go kind of get the camera in like that. Then you just lock it in place and screw that thing in there. But all right, so I need to find a place to mount this. All right, so now that I'm locking in the camera, I can see here both. I mean, the camera's upside down right now, but I can see both angles of it in my garage. And I just you know, logged into my router, got my IP address here. Okay. So now I'm going to mount this thing. It's pretty cool features of this thing. Now take a look. You have the um, spotlight, you know, uh, audio light, spotlight, nighttime. Um, yeah, I think these cameras retail are about anywhere from 120 to 140. Uh, this is a non wireless one. I'm actually running PoE. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll be have this running with my uh, Blue Iris. 
All right, so let me get this thing mounted. We'll get it going, and I'll do a night test too. All right, take a look. Got the camera app. So this is the left lens, and then to go back, this is the right lens. So that's my Bronco F250. So yeah, it's cool. As I can see somebody coming up my driveway right there, walking up. I can see somebody pulling up right now. Um, yeah, I can see people. A lot of people walk around the corner, so I can see that. So I need to figure out how to stitch it. Previous page. I want to stitch them together, so I don't know if I need to do that in the DVR, or if I can do it on this camera preview. Switch player. Yeah, not a lot of options. Here are the settings for it. You know, pretty much basic settings. Display. Uh, stream. Detection alarm. You know, the the security light that goes on and off, the detection. I'll test that tonight and see if it works. FTP, I'm going to be using MVR, like I said, Blue Iris, network settings. Right now I have a dynamic storage. Yes, I will be adding MVR later. User management, so pretty basic. All right, so I've got everything mounted up here, and these first two cameras are the real link cameras right here. So you can kind of see it's, you can kind of see it stuck. Well, I'm actually using uh, Blue Iris, but you can see it stitched together right here. So it's almost like a 180 degree view of my front yard here and my two cars. Um, the cool thing is the the thing is awesome too. The nightlight man actually works. That that sp the floodlight, the spotlight is pretty awesome. Um, but let me show you how to set this up in um, Blue Iris if you're going to be using Blue Iris. So the cool thing about this camera is you don't have to. You can actually install an SD card and just record right to the SD card. You don't need to have a external uh, NVR. But uh, yeah, like all my other cameras here. Uh, the night vision is shutter stuck on. That's why it's not color right now. All right, so let me show you uh, uh, Blue Iris real fast. So it's, it's actually like uh, two different cameras. All right, so let me show you the individual cameras here. So it's interesting is you're going to be using the same IP address. You should statically assign an IP address to your camera. Um, but you're going to go to the settings here, and then we'll go to video. But the only difference between the two cameras is this right here. So this is camera one. You just need to put that here. So whatever your username and password is, this is my IP address internally of the camera. Um, but for for camera one, this is the actual preview. That's what you want to put in here as a default. Um, and then for camera two, it's uh, different. You just go here and um, video configure. Yeah, see this right here? So it's just the difference is just the one and the two. And that's it. So... But uh, Blue Wires is awesome, man. Uh, I actually was currently, my other one while I was running a Zosi NVR, thing sucked compared to this. Yeah, this thing actually costs more money out of pocket, but I'm actually running this on my, one of my old Dell servers, um, which is my file server slash now NVR too, um, which I have a lot of recording, a lot of storage on it. You know, it has multiple SATA drives, hot swap. Um, but it was almost like an idle server, so I might as well just be running a, uh, you know, an MVR in it just to save extra power, not having a separate device just for video recording. Um, all right, but cool camera, man. Look at that, 180 degree. Look at that. The whole corner of my neighborhood and my two trucks. So, all right. So, yeah, like I said, the cool thing is that the spotlight is awesome. Uh, it has, like, the dual audio. I can talk on it, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, awesome camera, man. You know, I mean, this is what it looks like, so. Pretty cool, huh? All right, guys. Cool.